Hello everyone, welcome to my new video and actually I want to show you uh, how easily you can create a script which will calculate the number of bricks that you have for some walls. Uh, I did so a couple of different solutions and I, I did think that uh, all solutions that I see for this problem are very complicated uh, and I would say unnecessarily complicated. So uh, I just want to show you how I think that this can be solved uh, with a simple math. I did create new project from a Revit generic uh, architectural template and I did use some brick wall which have as a pattern this pattern over here so it is a brick 75 uh, with a width of 225 mm so if we go to the section just to check if that uh, pattern is actually that size so the height is 75 the width is 225 so everything is okay and now how we will calculate uh, the number of bricks uh, simply I will use my script I will show you how I assemble that script and I will hit run so the total number of bricks it's almost uh, 3.5 thousand of bricks uh, if we decrease I don't know height and I can select those walls from the script again so we have half that number if we model some some similar walls and with some random geometry again i will just select those walls and click run so i have some some different number of bricks and walls and uh, basically how this script works uh, it's it's very simple uh, you will need uh, to use this uh, genius lock uh, node in order to find out uh, all the patterns which you have in the model and you will need to select uh, that pattern which you will use for your bricks for this purpose i did uh, go with this pattern over here uh, then uh, again uh, this genius lock node will tell you all the things that you need to know regarding that pattern and the things that we need to know uh, are stored here in the offset list so this is the height of the brick and this is the half of the width uh, of the brick so over here we have a height of the brick here we will uh, multiply whatever we have here with two to have a full uh, width of the brick then uh, basically we need to calculate how many rows we have uh, in our walls and how many uh, columns we have for our walls uh, and then we will just multiply the number of rows and columns and we will have uh, the total number of the bricks but before that in order to calculate how many columns we have uh, we will need to read uh, the length of our walls we will sum on that entire length and then we will simply divide that with uh, width of our bricks and we will have some number of columns and i didn't round this number uh, of course you will buy probably a bit uh, more bricks than the program tell you uh, to do so probably you will buy an extra 10 or 15 percent of the bricks to be on the safe side uh, okay and that is the number of the columns so for the number of the rows we will need the height of the wall so i did use again this genius lucky uh, uh, node and I didn't want to go with base offset top offset uh, what is the level and so on and so on uh, basically I will took any wall and I will go for example with the start point I will read um, basically where is the lower point of the wall where is the higher point of the wall and actually I will calculate maximum and minimal uh, items and I will just uh, then calculate what is the total distance what is the total height for for those walls uh, okay and now when we have the height of the wall now we can uh, divide that with the height of the brick so now we know how many rows we have for our bricks we have the rows we have a column so over here we can have 
uh, that total number of bricks that we need for those walls. Now we will round that number because we need to show that number to, to the user. And uh, over here we will have some text. So the number of bricks for selected wall is, and then we will read uh, this number, which we did convert to string. We will flatten uh, both, both strings, and then we will join those two strings. So the first part will be this text over here, and the second part will be actually the value. And we will display that uh, by using this sparrow uh, node in order to show the user how many bricks uh, we have. Uh, I didn't find any limitations for this script. To be honest, I didn't test how accurate uh, this script is. So if somebody wants to recreate this script and want to play and test uh, with this script, uh, if, you, if you have some thoughts regarding the accuracy of this script, please leave a comment so uh, the rest of us can also see how accurate or, or not accurate this script is. But this logic is uh, so simple that I don't really see how this logic cannot be accurate. But uh, with these bricks, uh, probably if the script is wrong, it can be that uh, we have an error over here. So uh, did the script uh, took this final row or not? So maybe, maybe uh, just in those points, you will have some kind of error. But again, uh, I assume that you will anyway buy like 10 or 15 percent more bricks that then uh, you you did get as a calculation. So, anyways, I think you will cover that error. And that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.